In this short video, we're going to study phonotactics. In every language, there are sounds that can come next to each other and sounds that can't, phonemes that you'll never hear combined. The restrictions on which sounds can combine in a particular language are referred to as phonotactic constraints. Look at the lists of words below. Which of these words are possible in English? None of them, as far as I know, exist but some are possible. So look at the two lists. Which list do you think has the words that are more possible? I think you'll agree that the words in list B are more possible in English than the words in list A, even though neither of them, neither list of words are actually real English words. The English alphabet allows the consonant cluster sk, as in the word skim, and it allows the cluster Earl is in the word pearl, so it definitely would allow a word like uh, Scott or Pearl or Narber. English doesn't allow the consonant cluster uh, vl, as in vlug. Um, the name Vladimir, which has such a cluster, is a borrowing. Um, likewise, nyak and stam have consonant clusters which English simply does not. Every language allows some combinations of phonemes and not others. These are the phonotactic constraints. Giga defines phonotactic constraints as restrictions on the types of sounds that are allowed to occur next to each other or in particular positions in words. Giga gives some examples of phonotactic constraints in English. Uh, the sound k does not occur at the beginning of syllables or words. We don't have words like place, even though we do have words like trace. K can occur between syllables as in Atlantic, but it cannot occur at the beginning of syllables. Another example is that the diphthong ow can only be followed by a consonant made with the tongue front. So we can say oud as in crowd because the consonant d is made with the front of the tongue, or aun as in town because the consonant there is also made with the front of the tongue. Um, we can say house, we can say couch, but we can't follow that diphthong with a bilabial. Uh, or velar sound. We don't have words containing the combination alp or alb or alk or alg. Here's another example that Giga says is common across languages. The rule is nasals must agree with the place of articulation of the following stop. The nasal sounds at the beginning of noon and moon and at the end of ring. The sound at the beginning of noon is made with the tongue touching the alveolar ridge. If you look above it on the IPA chart, you'll see the t and d sounds. We have words like ant and and in English, so that works. The nasal sound, n, agrees in the place of articulation with the stop that follows, the t or the d. They're both made using the same articulator on the alveolar ridge. On the other hand, we don't have words like amp and amb. The nasal sound n does not agree in, place of, in the place of articulation with the stop p or b. The sound that agrees in the place of articulation with the p or b stop would be a m. And we do have words like amp. Um, and bombastic. So there the nasal sound is agreeing in place of articulation with the following stop again. What about the nasal sound uh, that comes at the end of words like thing or king? What stops uh, correspond to that place of articulation? And what words do you have that end with ing and are followed by a consonant?